Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video to answer a special very good question from Beth. She was asking me about that elongated bodice. What happens if the hip is bigger than the bust measurement? So I'm going to show you how to adjust and how to make little modification at the waist and hip level. Here's my block that I did in my previous video. I'm going to show you how to enlarge the hip. So I'm going to place another piece of cardboard under. I will do the back and the front. So let's say for example that your hip is 4 cm bigger than your bust measurement. 4 cm is for all around, now I'm doing a half bodice, so I need 2 cm extra. I'm going to add 1 cm on each side, parallel to the straight part that I have on my block, so the 5 cm straight that I did, and of course I'm going to elongate the hip line. You could just trace your new line from the waist and retrace the side seam. Do the same thing or report your line on the back. But sometimes this line is getting too curved and there's another thing we could do to make it softer and better fit, smoother fit, is by creating a second dart. So if you're hip measurement needs more than a centimeter per quarter, even one centimeter or more, you should create another dart that's going to give you a much smoother fit. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do my second dart about, I would say, 3.5 centimeter from the side of the first dart. So you trace a line that is going to be shorter than the original one both sides, so shorter at the bottom, shorter from the top. And you could add, you could create a dart any size you like. For example, if I create a dart of one centimeter, I'm going to put five millimeter on each side and connect with both side pivot. Now since I'm taking in my waist, I could add it back at the waist level. So I'm adding back one centimeter. That's going to allow me to do a much smoother side seam curve. And I retrace also the top part all the way up. If you do a second dart in the front, I think it would be a very good idea to do the same thing on the back. So here I'll do again 3.5 from the side of the dart, trace square towards top and bottom, a little shorter both sides, and I'll do exactly the same measurement here one centimeter, so 0.5 on each side, and connect with my pivot. Of course I would also report the side seam so one centimeter out, and again the side seam. This second dart is also going to need four punch hole, so center, three millimeter in, and one centimeter down, one up, one down. Same thing on my front. For very tiny dart like that, sometimes you just put the middle point and you go by measurement when you do sew your dart because the punch hole will be one next to the other. The av advantage of having a second dart, it gives you a very smooth line at the waist level. So I know you might not like sewing them, but remember, the more you do it, the better you get at it, and you do it also faster. That's it for today. It was a short one, but I think it answered to a very good question from Beth again. So thank you for watching, and I see you next time. Mm -hmm.